Hi everyone, John here. I want to talk about Google Wi-Fi. So Google Wi-Fi mesh router system is something I just recently purchased because my Wi-Fi in the house has not been up to par. I'm using the cable modems uh, Wi-Fi access point and it is not very good. I get spotty service here and there and it just doesn't go as far as I want. I pay for 100 megabits up, 100 megabits down. I want to get Wi-Fi all over the house. So I went with the Google Wi-Fi mesh system. And the reason why I went with this is because it can get Wi-Fi all over the house and constantly monitors the system and smartly connects to everything. I don't have to do anything. It just does it for me. So let's talk about what's in the box. You get with each box, you get a wireless access point. And this one weighs only 0.75 pounds, which is really amazing. It is a 2.4 gigahertz and five gigahertz dual band router. You get in the box a ethernet, the flat ethernet cat six, which is really amazing. I RJ45 connection. And you're gonna get your five volt USB-C uh, connector. So when you get it, you're going to see that you have the connections for your for all these uh, ports. So you have your main coming off your your LAN from your cable modem. You're going to put into here, which is which has the globe. You're going to have your five volts to connect your power USB C, and you also have an access out, which will pass through your Ethernet to a LAN from this access point. Because once you plug this in, this is now your access point for your network. You don't want to use ports two, three, and four on your cable modem once you put that in bridge mode because that will cause you some problems. I've already experienced that. You don't want that. Let's talk about homes and apartments. Homes and apartments are different because homes you want to get to everywhere in the house and you want to stretch that bandwidth everywhere you can go and you want full strength everywhere. With apartments, you can typically get everywhere with one access point because it will do a thousand square feet. However, you get congestion with other routers around you in those other apartments. And what this will do is Google manages that by channel optimization. So it uses channel optimizations to fix Wi-Fi issues. So that is really good. With multiple access points, you can just, it will switch between each access point and give you uh, the best uh, signal as you're passing through your house in a large house. In an apartment, it manages all those uh, Wi-Fi networks all around and fixes all the Wi-Fi issues that you might have, especially with different devices. So uh, it, compatibility issues are taken care of and the fact you have lots of close proximity Wi-Fi's, it uses channel optimization to improve your experience. If somebody's watching Netflix, it will go ahead and make sure that that has full bandwidth and your other devices, which are just maybe accessing the web, don't need as much bandwidth and it will manage that for you. And it does it automatically, which is just amazing. The way it handles everything is with good hardware and great software. And we can see that the hardware is really good. We have a quality system here. The software is what really makes it. So the main reason you want to get away from, let's say, a cable modem Wi-Fi router is that you want to get automatic updates. You want something that's constantly getting updates. And that's what you get with this. Once you plug it in, you're gonna get an automatic update and it will continue to update to make sure you have those security patches which will keep you safe. How you set up the Google Wi-Fi is with an app. So you're going to use your Android or iOS to do this quick 10 minute setup. So each node is only 10 minutes to set up. It's so easy and I'm going to walk you through it. The max speed of the Google Wi-Fi is 1.2 gigabits. That's the transfer speed. So we can do, this is a gigabit access point. Each access point is a gigabit access point. Now I'm only using, in mine I've got fast speed. I've got 100 megabits up, 100 megabits down. This can do a gigabit. 1.2 gigabits transfer speed, amazing. Google Wi-Fi has Amazon Echo and Google Home support, which is really amazing. So I haven't used it yet, but, but you definitely can control your access point with Google Home and Echo. So this is a Google product and it does use Google services. So you might be concerned with, with is it collecting my user data? Well, CNET did research on this and found that it's only collecting hardware and network related activity. 
which is really great that that's all it's collecting. So no sites that you go to, it's not collecting that data or using it for anything that is in their explicit agreement. So you are not, uh, your privacy is still safe by using the Google Wi-Fi. CNET also said, this is the best way to blanket your house with Wi-Fi. That is their own words. So they did lots of testing and I can agree that it blankets my house with Wi-Fi and I'm very satisfied. One access point will go ahead and cover 1,000 square feet. I would only get the one pack if you're going to do a 1,000 square foot place. Remember, in an apartment and everything, I think one is probably just fine. If you have a two-story, you might want to go with two, but one would be fine for a 1,000 square foot place. If you have, let's say, a little over a 1,000 square feet, I would recommend getting two of them. And if you have 2,000 square feet, definitely get the three pack. One of the access points is $99 and a free pack is $250. So it's really, that's the going rate. Actually, it's not a bad deal for what you're getting in, in something that's automatically updating all the time for you and protecting your privacy. So all the Google Wi-Fi access points have an LED. So it's a status light LED. And with the app, you can just go into it and you can just control that. So you can make it as bright as you'd like or as dim as you'd like. And you might want that, especially if it's something near a TV or something. So I just turned it up and I'm going to go ahead and turn it down again because I don't want it that bright near the TV. So when you open the Google Wi-Fi app, the first thing it's going to do is go ahead and scan your network and see how many wireless access devices you have already connected to your Google Wi-Fi. And as you can see uh, right now, I can I have two wireless access points. I've got 22 devices on. I can check my speed of my internet and my usage right here. I can go ahead and check that anytime I like. I can see my two wireless access points. It tests it automatically. I can see that I have great service in the kitchen, which is where I have my second access point. I can look at the 22 devices that I have and see how much data they've used and I can just move forward from there. The other thing is I have control over just seeing what's on the network. I can do a network check right now. And so I can do an internet check and I can see my speed right now and it will do a live check. Okay, so there you have it. I have 94 down and 100 up, which is really great. And I can go ahead and check the mesh connection speed. And that's to my wireless access point and it's checking everything in the network and making sure that my wireless access point has really good coverage. It says that I have great coverage, which is amazing. That's good, I'm getting the bandwidth that I want. I can also check the network. So I can do a network check, and this is checking the network against all the other connected devices. So there it is, checking all my devices, and it could see everything that's uh, going on and testing the speed to each device and giving me an update. The next thing I could do is I can give priority to a different device. So if I want one device, if I want the TV to have more priority or my phone to have more priority than other devices, I can temporarily give priority to those particular devices. So you have a lot of control. I can look at the password of my particular network and I can look at the password of my guest network which is really, really cool. I can share the password. So I can go ahead and share the password via text message, via email. I can share it with anybody that I want at a particular time, which is really great if you have somebody coming over and they're a guest. So with Network General, there's two types of people that you can have. You can have an owner and a manager. So owner can reset everything, can, uh, can remove and factory reset any Wi-Fi access points, and a manager can really just only see everything. So it's really great you can give that kind of control. So setting up a Wi-Fi access point is really easy. You can just go ahead and go through this, and I'm gonna take you through the setup real quick. It only takes about 10 minutes. You're gonna go ahead and get started. You're going to, let's say, create a new network and it's looking for your new access point and you're just going to move through it just like that it will set everything up and it will only take about 10 minutes so it's really easy so another thing you can do is manage multiple networks i can go and let's say i was managing my mom's network and she's got a google wi-fi system i can go ahead and manage hers and switch between accounts right from here so you have family wi-fi you could set up family wi-fi to go ahead and pause 
Wi-Fi for your kids at bedtime. You can also add adult blocks to everything, which is really amazing. So overall, I can't recommend this enough. I have used the cable modem in my house for a long time and upgrading to the mesh really up my game in having Wi-Fi all over the house. I really appreciate the styling of the Google Wi-Fi and I would think it's a great buy for anyone looking to upgrade to a smart mesh network that will continue to grow with your family and continue to get updates. So if you like my channel, please subscribe, hit that bell icon. It really helps the channel. I appreciate everything. Take care, everybody.